Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I want to thank you for returning to watch another one of my teachings. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more of my teachings that are coming. Today I want to talk about life by the Spirit. Before we start, I want to pray for protection. Father God, I ask you to encamp your angels around me and all my family members, everyone here who is watching and their family members, their pets, their possessions. Protect them, Father, and keep them safe from any form of retaliation from the enemy. According to your word in Psalms 34, verse 7, and Isaiah 54, 17. Father, according to your word in Matthew 21, 21, and Matthew 18, 18, it says that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. I ask you, Lord, to bind any spirit that may try to hinder anyone from hearing the message today. Any spirit that may try to retaliate against us in any way, Father. Bind them all with a three-folded cord, which is in Eskens 4.12. Take the sword of the Spirit, Father, which is your word, and break up their plotting and their planning against us, Father, and cut off their false wisdom that they become unlearned and dumb. Okay, so let's start with Galatians 5.16. It states, I tell you, be guided by the Spirit, and you will no longer yield to the flesh. The desires of the flesh are always in opposition to the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are always in opposition to the flesh. Flesh, they are opposite one against the other. This is how you are prevented from doing the things that you want to. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. When flesh is at work, the result is obvious. And now it names the works of the flesh. The first one here is orgies. Now the definition of orgies is a gathering of people marked by promiscuous activity. The second one here listed is malice, a desire to harm others or to seek or see others suffer, also holding on to bitterness, revenge, Someone hurts you and you want to get back at them. Backbiting, which is talking bad about someone who is not present. Fractions is strife and dissension, which is disagreement in a group that leads to discord. Quarrels, an angry dispute, heated arguments and failure or refusal to agree. Impurity, sins of lust, lustful thoughts or desires, desiring unlawful sexual pleasures, sorcery, use of supernatural power over others, spells, incantations, voodoo, hoodoo, jealousy, which is envy, is an emotion when someone lacks an achievement or possession someone else has as well as pain at the sight of someone else's good fortune. Sensuality, meaning seductiveness. That could be wearing blouses that are low that shows your breast, wearing pants that are so tight everybody can see everything. Bad temper, which is always being in a bad mood. Drunkenness, being intoxicated, always being drunk. Worship of false gods, which is idolatry. And anything that you put above God is idolatry. And it states here, people who behave in these ways will not inherit the kingdom of God. On the other hand, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness and self-control. I encourage everyone to look these up and write out their definitions because these are the things of the Spirit. These are the things that please God. We must learn to please God. Let's talk about seeing and repenting. We need to ask God to help us to see ourselves Ask God to show you old feelings, old ways of being that need to be changed. And once you see, you need to repent. It must come to a decision to change. 
Now old ways, they die hard and it's not easy. It takes to determination and persistence. You need to start the process of transformation and sanctification. Now sanctification is not striving to be holier than everyone else. Transformation is the process which the Holy Spirit changes every wrong thing into us into blessings. Our deserts are transformed to gardens, our weakness into strengths. Now sanctification and transformation is God's desire for everyone. And we can help him do this by studying our Bible and learning not only just read the Bible, but act on the Bible. Learn to what God is ask, do what God is asking us to do. Now, if you love God, but you don't take any time to get to know who he is and what he is asking for from, from you and what he has done from you, all, all the blessings that he has for you, how can you know God? How can you love God when you don't know anything about him? You don't know what pleases him. What upsets him? That's why it's so important, especially when you're going through deliverance, you have to have the word of God, not only in your mind, but in your heart and, and on your mouth. You know, I always pray, Lord Jesus, let your, your word be on my mind, on my mouth and in my heart, governing my actions and my behaviors. So that's it for today's message. I want to thank all of you for watching and there will be more teachings coming soon. And please do subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Thank you and God bless you.